live from the KATC TV3 studios, this is Acadiana's News Channel at 5. And now at 5, crews are fighting a fire at a natural gas well in the Gulf of Mexico. Good evening everyone, thanks for tuning in, Marcel has the night off. As crews battle the blaze on the Hercules Brig, part of it is collapsing right into the Gulf because of extreme heat. The fire ignited before 11 o'clock last night after a blowout earlier yesterday morning. The Coast Guard says a crew was preparing a well for production and hit an unexpected pocket of gas about 60 miles southwest of Grand Isle. More than 40 workers were evacuated from that rig, but the good news, no injuries have been reported. There's no word yet of when the gas leak will be shut off. Tonight, Chris Welty finds out what crews were doing moments before the rig blowout. The Hercules 265 was built in 1982 and has not had any serious accidents before. That's according to the Bureau of Safety and Environmental Enforcement. The rig is owned by Hercules Offshore, which is a contractor for exploration and production company Walter Oil & Gas. Tuesday's blowout occurred at a well where workers were using a portable drilling rig to complete a sidetrack well. The goal is to drill a secondary hole away from an original well bore. Steve Malley with Badger Oil says sidetracking is a routine process in the Gulf of Mexico and is done for a variety of reasons. Sometimes it's done because there's a problem in the existing well. Sometimes it's done because uh, the existing well has depleted, run its useful life. Usually sidetracking happens in a drilling well if the pipe becomes stuck. They'll uh, cut a hole in the side of the original well and drill to a sidetrack location. So far, officials haven't said that the sidetracking operation is the cause of the Hercules blowout. In Lafayette, Chris Walty, KATC TV3. Now, Walter Oil and Gas Corporation was the 12th largest producer of natural gas in the Gulf of Mexico last year. This is not the first fire under Walter Oil's watch. Two unrelated rigs reported fires in 2010, 2009, and 1997. Those were all caused by equipment failures or human error according to the Bureau of Safety and Environmental Enforcement. Experts say the blowout and fire won't necessarily carry much of an environmental risk. Unlike 2010's Deepwater Horizon blowout, the Hercules 265 is a shallow water rig exploring for natural gas, not crude oil. Officials say they're seeing no sheen near the well during flyovers of the area, and that indicates that gas is burning off without releasing oil or other hydrocarbons, which are sometimes found in gas wells into the water. Several scientists say natural gas poses much less of an environmental threat to the Gulf than crude oil would pose.